In this tutorial video, we'll be downloading and installing programs for the virtual TI-83 Plus calculator. To get this and more series on the TI-83 graphing calculator series, visit the website www.gboyinc.net. Okay, in today's lesson, we'll be installing and downloading programs from the internet to the virtual TI-83 Plus calculator. So the first thing we'll need to do is we'll get on the internet and in the URL we'll simply enter www.ticalc.org and here you can find a wealth of programs for any particular type of text instruments calculator and once we're in ticalc.org we'll click under archives and under archives we'll go to file archives and then we'll access our archives via the web. Next we'll select our model of calculator which is the 83 plus. We will then select basic programs. We want math programs. And for this particular demonstration we'll be selecting the algebra. Okay, and here are the TI-8384 Plus basic math programs. And what we're actually going to look for is a program that will simplify radicals. So I'm simply going to scroll down to the R's. And I'll mainly take the first one I see. This is rad.zip. Notice it gives you the name. It also gives you a file size, 5K, and it also gives a description. And this program should simplify radicals faster than most radical programs. So let's give it a try. So first of all, I'm going to save this to the desktop of my PC. And then I'll go to my desktop and I'll simply unzip the folder. And I'm going to unzip it on my desktop. So once the files are extracted, the next thing we will then do is pull up the graphing calculator. We will then right click. We will send file to VTI. And the file that we want is in the desktop and it's in the folder RAD. So we double click on that. And now if we go into the program, we now see the program RAD. So let's press enter and to execute the program let's press enter again and they want us to input a radical so let's try to simplify the square root of 20 okay notice that there is a glitch with this program and that's the give and take on this you may have to play around with the program to see which ones actually do work so what we'll do at this time is we will delete this program from the calculator so we'll simply hit enter to quit and let's just clear the screen. We will then enter the memory, which is a second function. So it's second and the plus sign, which is the memory. We want the second option. We want to scroll down to programs. We want to hit enter. The program we want to delete is rad. So we simply hit delete and access are we sure and we want to hit yes. Okay. So now let's go back to the home screen and now if we return the program we can see that we now have a blank screen. Okay. So let's go back to the home screen and let's pull up the internet and this time let's try this radical.8xp radical root simplifier. This program does just what its title says. It simplifies radicals. So let's install it on our desktop and just note that this file is not a zip file so we'll simply save it to our desktop and now if we bring up our calculator and we'll follow the same steps we will right click send file to VTI and the file we want is in the desktop and it's radical.8xp 
and now once we enter the program notice we see radical so we simply hit enter and to run the program we press enter again so with this particular program it can simplify second third fourth fifth six roots and so on so let's enter a square root the root is two and let's put in 20 and this simplifies down to two square root of five to re-enter the program we will simply hit enter again this time let's try cube root of 16 and our answer is 2 times a cube root of 2 so I think this program is safe for us to use thanks for watching this video